I've had a couple of people reach out recently and say, all right, just give me something simple. What's a simple strategy I can start using right away to get fat loss results. So I want to share something that I did when I was dropping about 40 pounds. And that was just kind of an easy way. Something that I did just once a week that really, really helped me. And uh, so we're gonna get into that right now. I think it's gonna be a, sh a quick episode, but I think it could be impactful, especially if you're in a journey where you are focused on gut health, brain health, and uh, fat loss. So you're listening to the low carb hustle as usual, home of your million dollar body method, where we help you get leaner and live longer. My name is Nate Palmer. I've been a coach since 2008 and I've helped over 1,200 people level up their health and fitness. My mission is simple to show you how to easily drop fat so you can feel lean, strong, and energetic. And that's the thing we're going to do with this episode. So if you're ready to learn a quick strategy that you can implement right away to start getting leaner, living longer, well, stick around. Let's do this. So this strategy is super simple and it's just something that I did on a regular basis. And I'm not going to say like, though, this is exactly 100% what was what was caused me to be able to lose about 40 pounds in, I think it was like five ish months. Um, but it played a large part. You know, I was obviously still lifting weights. I was walking in the mornings. I was doing the 30, 15, three cardio, you know, so I was, I was active. I was super active and, um, you know, focused on like very high quality foods, eating a lot of protein. That's just kind of my baseline. So I'm not going to say this was the one thing that magically did it, but this was a, a big catalyst. And I'd always see big drops after I used this strategy. So I feel like I would plateau, you know, for like four or five days. And then I'd see like a two or three pound drop. And by the way, if you are plateauing while you're in this, that's totally fine. A plateau or maintenance is still a huge win. Something that people in fitness won't tell you, but if you can just maintain your weight and allow your body to kind of get to the point where it's like, Oh, okay, this is where we, this is a place where we live now. That's great. That's a win. So don't get upset if you're plateaued. That just means we need to change or adjust something simple. And a lot of times when I'm talking to clients who have hit a plateau, this is the strategy that I recommend. So we're going to be talking about fasting and combining them with aminos to get the best results. And I think there's a couple of reasons that we're seeing that this is works so well. And a couple of new pieces of research that have just come out that have kind of confirmed what I, I was already doing a, a while back. And I just wanted to share some of that with you. So first of all, start, we're talking about some brain health benefits, because obviously that's something that's really important to us. We want to age gracefully. We want to have, maintain our mental acuity. We want to be sharper, right? Nobody wants to have the risk of developing Alzheimer's. It just sounds miserable. And uh, I did a 23andMe genetic test, and it said that I have a seven times higher likelihood than the average person to develop Alzheimer's runs in my family. So I have to be very careful about this sort of thing. So it's really important to me. So the the thing I like about fasting for uh, for brain health is that Fasting stimulates autophagy, which helps you clean out damaged brain cells, which promotes that better, higher, faster cognitive function, and it reduces the risk of neurodegenerative diseases. And that's huge. You really can't put a price on that. Plus, fasting is free. You just literally don't eat. It actually gives you back money. You don't spend $12 on lunch when you're not eating. So the, the thing that we are seeing now about the role of fasting and aminos though, with regard to brain health is that some of these key amino acids like leucine helps you help like a promote muscle protein synthesis, which ensures that your body uses fat for energy instead of using muscle for energy. Leucine also though, which is really cool starts supporting neurotransmitter production, which improves your focus and your mental clarity and allows you to rebuild broken down cells which is fantastic. It also helps you with skill development because the more neurotransmitter production you have, the faster you can develop like neurons that you know develop as you start getting better at something. So for example, if you've never swung a golf club before and you go to do it, it's going to feel really choppy and weird and awkward. But as you do it more and more and more, you build that neural pathway in your brain. So it goes from being this little single dirt road to being a one lane street, two lane street, super highway, the better you get at something. Isoleucine also helps regulate your blood sugar during fasting, which prevents brain fog and helps you maintain consistent energy levels. Valine assists in energy production in the brain by supporting the sugar glucose uptake into the brain cells, which enhances your mental performance and reduces fatigue, but also keeps you from having those sugar crashes. And then glutamine is great because uh, this is something that I was just checking out is that it converts to something called glutamate, which is an essential neurotransmitter. So this plays a massive role in your memory, your learning. It helps maintain your brain function, especially during extended periods of fasting. And we've even found this to be very impactful if you're going low carb or keto for the first time. So 
what, like one of the strategies here is just anytime you're, you are fasting, incorporating these amino acids, and we have these in the fast aid, but you can find them in a lot of different amino acids. You just got to make sure that the, the ratios are correct and adding these in a couple times per day on your fasting days. Now, if you're only doing a 16, eight, I wouldn't stress too much about this. Maybe like one serving per day, especially if you're going to be working out on an empty stomach. Um, but if you are fasting for 24 to 48 to 72 hours, incorporating these three or four times per day is a great option. I always do before and after workouts to make sure that I'm not losing any muscle mass and then helping myself have plenty of energy for the rest of the day. The other thing that I hear a lot about is gut health and making sure that our guts are, are working well, digesting food correctly, and just keeping us super healthy because a lot of our immune system is based in our gut. So fasting is incredibly powerful for gut health because it allows your gut to heal. It improves your digestion. It reduces inflammation through the digestive system. And like, like it does for our brain, autophagy, which is, the, which is the thing that our body naturally does when we're not eating, it helps clear out damaged cells in the digestive system, which enhances the, like the integrity and the stability of your gut lining. So anyone who's doing that has like leaky gut syndrome, they'd have minimal gut lining integrity. So that gets thinner and thinner and thinner and you start developing that leaky gut syndrome. So we want to make sure that we are giving our body a chance to repair and rebuild naturally. Once again, fasting, free dollars. That's why you don't hear a lot of people really trying to sell you stuff about that. Amino acids though are awesome. That glutamine that we talked about earlier, it's critical for gut health. It, it can help repair your intestinal lining, reducing any sort of symptoms of leaky gut, improves nutrient absorption. And this is really important when you're fasting because the gut is resting and can regenerate. And so giving it those vital nutrients can help accelerate that process. Leucine, isoleucine, valine are all considered branch chain amino acids or BCAAs, and they help contribute to the muscle repair and energy regulation of your gut, which makes means that your body can maintain a metabolic function without relying on food intake. So when you're fasting, you can still have healthy metabolism and make sure that your body is healing at the appropriate rate. BCAAs are also great because they help regulate your blood sugar levels. So it keeps inflammation down as well as avoiding any sugar crashes or energy, energy drops during the time when you are, when you need it most. And then the last one, I think this is huge for fasting. Everyone talks about fasting as a means of, of losing fat. And I think that's why I originally got into it because anytime you're not eating for 24 hours, you're cutting out, you know, 18% of your weekly calories. 18% math is hard, but you're cutting out a full day's worth of food. So it's just, it just makes it a lot easier because rather than being like, I'm going to have 2000 calories every day, we start looking at it from a weekly perspective. I'm going to have 14,000 calories this week. And they were able to cut out a good chunk of that with a 24 36 or 48 hour fast. Now you have a little bit more flexibility to be able to eat bigger meals, feel better. Um, just stress a little less about counting every single macro you're, you're eating. You know, you can have that, you can have that pizza night. You can have that glass of wine here and there uh, and not really stress too much about it. I like the flexibility it gives me. It's almost like a nutritional insurance policy when you're, when you're cutting weight. And then if you can do that and have this nutritional insurance policy at the exact same time as you're helping your body recover through autophagy, it's just a win-win. You know, I don't think there's any downside to this, especially if you're not at the place you want to be with your physique, your energy, or just your general health. So like for like what fasting does during like a fat loss phase though, is your insulin levels will drop and that starts prompting the body to use fat stores for energy, which will help accelerate your fat loss. Autophagy also helps recycle and eliminate those damaged cells in your body, which reduces your inflammation again and optimizes your metabolic efficiency, builds your metabolism, helps you feel better, get more out of the foods you're eating. But the amino acids in conjunction with fasting Leucine is great because we talked about it before. It helps trigger muscle protein synthesis. That just means how much muscle your body can build and how much protein you can bring to a specific amount of muscle while you're, while you're training, while you're rebuilding. Because you could have a great physique, um, be eating a lot of protein, but if your muscle protein synthesis is low, it's going to be very hard for you to build any new muscle. And by maintaining your lean muscle, you can actually increase your resting metabolic rate, which helps burn more fat, even at rest, but especially when you're working out. So Dr. Gabrielle Lyons talks about this a lot. She says that muscle is the primary metabolic organ. So if you can improve the amount of muscle you have, your body can process carbohydrates so much better. So the more muscle you have, the more tacos you get to eat is kind of the equation, right? That's just like Americans will use anything but the metric system. So 
It's like how many pounds of muscle to per taco ratio. And that's, that's math I can really get behind. Isoleucine is great because it supports your fat metabolism. So it actually helps your body break down and use fat during your fasting periods, which is fantastic. Valine helps maintain stamina and energy levels, which prevents that fatigue and, and helps you push through fasted workouts. Because I recommend doing those, like especially if you're only doing a 24-hour fast, you can still work out. It's, it's no problem. If you're doing a 48-hour fast, I will put my workout like a lifting day on day one of that and then do like a cardio day on day two. By the way, if you're doing if you're doing a 48 hour fast with a strength training workout on day one and then a cardio workout on day two, you'll literally look different at coming out of day two. Your body will change. You will look a lot different because your inflammation will be down. That bloating will be down. The amount of like water or just things you're retaining will be down. And it is, it's fantastic. And if you do the 30, 15, three, 30 minutes on a 15 incline treadmill at a three speed, you finish that workout and you might, you might feel a little bit weird. I always feel like very, like a borderline manic almost. I feel great, just super high energy, just very like ready to go do work, be creative, think through things. I just feel amazing. And if you can have your aminos before that, and then some aminos and a little bit of caffeine afterwards, that's just chef's kiss. It's, it's a great feeling and it puts you on track for an amazing day. But some people will, will tell me like, Oh, I get tired after uh, like day two of my fasting. I'm hangry. I'm like, I just, I don't, I feel like I need some food. A lot of times that's in our head. Um, but those same people will only have like one serving of aminos or not even any. And they just try to do it with just water, some electrolytes, something like that. And I think the aminos can make a massive difference in your energy level, how you're feeling and your hunger. Personally, I always found that if I just mixed the aminos with like four ounces, just a small little shot of ice cold water and mix it in with a whisk and just pound that, that would kill my cravings for an hour or two. It's fantastic. And then glutamine, obviously we know that's a, a incredibly important amino acid and it definitely plays a role in your fat meta metabolism because it improves your insulin sensitivity. So that helps your body burn more fat while you're fasting and it also helps your body store less fat when you're eating food. So you can't put a price on that. That's that's a that's killer. So what I, here's kind of how I would implement this is if you're looking to improve your gut health, your brain health, your fat loss, your energy, um, you're, you want to start fasting at, in your life and a 16 hour intermittent fast with an eight hour feeding window is fine, but you don't really ever get to experience the full benefits of the autophagy window. Autophagy kind of kicks in about 16 hours after you finish eating and autophagy. If you didn't catch this earlier, that's the, your body's natural detoxification and cleansing process. So you don't need any fancy supplements to, to get a cleanse or a detox. Just let your body do its thing. So I love a 24 hour fast because I've seen some statistics that say that a 24 hour fast is worth about 3.5, three and a half, 16 hour fast in terms of the autophagy benefits, the cellular cleansing and recycling, the process that you go through. So I'm always pushing people to do at least a 24 and build themselves up to a 48 over time. I have a, a like a program. So if you want this, just shoot me a message on Instagram at underscore million dollar body and I'll shoot it over to you. It's just a PDF I put together. It's a two week um, it's why I call it fit fast 48. It's a two week, um, idea on how to detox your body from sugar and get to your first 48 hour fast in that second week of the, of the program. So I'll send that to you for free. It's no problem. So what I would start with is a 24 hour fasting window. And just like, for me, what I'll do is I'll just do like, let's say I stop eating at 6 PM on Wednesday night after dinner. And then I just don't eat it again until 6 PM on Thursday night. That's, that's super easy, super fast way to do it. But if you can do it and you go from 6 PM Wednesday to morning on Friday, that's even better. Can of give yourself 36 hours plus you're sleeping for about half of it, you know, or 16 hours, I guess, hopefully, hopefully you're getting eight hours of sleep a night. And then when you're doing this though, have the like five grams or single serving of the branch aminos. I use that fast aid stuff and I can link that in the show notes as well. Um, I, and because it's guaranteed to not spike your blood sugar. So it's not going to put you out of the fasting state. So it's great. So I'm using five grams of that first thing in the morning. And then I'm using it before my workout and after my workout. And then I'll maybe use it one other time if I get hungry. So I'm using like the, the aminos, the fast aid aminos, probably about four times on fasting days. If I'm going to be eating in the PM, I'll maybe only use it two or three times, but if it's going to be a full day or I know I'm not going to have any food, I'll probably have it once again, like just before bed or at dinner instead of a meal. So use that. And then the only thing I would add to this is that since glutamine is so powerful, 
is just add a single serving of five grams of glutamine to your morning or evening to help support that gut repair and then improve your insulin sensitivity. So a couple servings a day of the, of just the BCAAs, the fast aid, and then one serving a day of the glutamine to help you continue to get better benefits, improve your gut health, improve the lining of your gut, improve your brain, your brain health and give you the, like a little bit more fat loss. So that's just a simple strategy that I've used. It's something that I think you could put into play right away. It's not hard to get fast aid or amino supplements, and you can start doing this tomorrow if you wanted to. So this is a simple strategy that, that we have used very successfully with our clients. And if you're looking for more help with your own personal health and fitness, I'd love to be an asset to you. So reach out to me on Instagram at underscore million dollar body. And I can share with you a little bit more about what we're doing for our clients to help them achieve success in this. Hope you're having an amazing day. I'd love to hear what you think of this and if you get a chance to do it, um, because I do think it's really powerful and it can make a big difference if we start implementing this on a consistent basis. So have an amazing day. Thanks for checking it out. Talk to you soon.